pictures, the stories, your world. This is News 8 at 5. A woman and her three children murdered in Rancho Santa Fe, her husband found dead three days later. It happened 15 years ago, but now a new movie inspired by the events of the murders is hitting the big screen. News 8's Steve Price has that story. It's a new movie loosely based on a murder 15 years ago at this Rancho Santa Fe home. Detectives called it a murder-suicide, but many other people, including the man behind this new film, aren't convinced. Wait, me personally, as a personal uh, citizen, I just, I just can't buy it. And uh, it's just too suspicious. With Glenn Palmetto Smith spent months digging into the murders that happened just a few blocks from his home. Ian Spiro's wife and three children murdered. Spiro found dead three days later in his car in the Anza Borrego Desert. And all of this just two weeks after a book outed him as a secret agent in the witness protection program. If you read any of the papers, you'll know that he was calling all his friends saying he uh, he's feels that his life is in danger because of this information getting out. The movie is called The Hungry Woman and tells the story of the Spiro murders through the eyes of their housekeeper. Palmetto Smith changed the family's name and a few other minor details, but the key facts are there. No. We understand that you've been working for this family. Have you seen any strangers or any odd behavior? Palmetto Smith says the housekeeper's perspective adds an innocence to the movie and shows her struggles working for a wealthy family while herself living in a migrant camp. For the audience, it's a, it's a great ride because you're not the omnipresent camera watching it uh, from afar, you're seeing it from a very personal level. In fact, Palmetto Smith is quick to point out the murder really only makes up about 30% of the plot. The real message of our movie is the struggle that the migrant camp uh, inhabitants uh, live daily. The Hungry Woman opens today with a very limited release here in San Diego. It's only playing at Ultra Star Cinemas, including this one here in Poway. In Poway, Steve Price, News 8.